from Suncoast in Summerlin. We're here for the title matches of today's JVT event. Max Ballhill making his first career JVT Scratch Division title match. Taking on Dallas Leong, who has owned this tournament from, day, from game one. Led all five rounds, shot 300 in the first survivor round, and here he is bowling for the title to absolutely no one's surprise. However, it's Max with the early lead as Dallas opened in the second, so it's a 10-pin lead right now for Max as he's left that half 10 in the fourth round. In the handicap division, there's five bowlers remaining. We're bowling Super Survivor today, so the lowest game this game will be eliminated, and then the lowest two overall totals will be eliminated, and it's anybody's game as 44 pins separate first place from last place in pinball, as well as one pin from first to second. Max has made great strides this season. Cross lane at the 10 with a ball that doesn't hook, and that's a good thing, as he just barely covers that 10. Dallas's 300 game was watched by more people than usual as they had a very large league coming in right behind us, and most of them stopped to watch Dallas finish off that perfecto. All eight games over 200. Game nine of the day for him here for the title. That's Elijah Lomitson picking up the spare there as we'll try and catch a little bit of the handicap action as well. Dallas's A game is going right up the 2 3 board, but he's got uh, A game dash 2 and A game dash 3 here, and he's circling a little today on the pretty playable pattern called Main Street. Essentially a tweaked house today. More high scores. It's a high scoring time of year. Utah's Tyler Thomas won yesterday. That's who you just saw on the right. Looking for the rare sweep. D. Hanley still alive. Top fiver yesterday, women's series champ yesterday. She'll be playing Randy Spieler in the girls match still to come. Other handicap finals haven't mentioned yet. Our uh, Paul Collier and Tyler Green making his first career top five. There are the two lefties in there over on the pair off camera to the right. Fun stuff here. We really like Super Survivor because it's got the do or die mentality of Survivor where the low game is out and also the advantage of total pinfall still meaning something. It's really a best of both worlds scenario there. Nice shot from Dallas gets that light hit to mix it up. Dallas thought he was never going to win a title again, and then finally uh, he rarely misses the top five and broke through four a win last week. And threat to win every time he shoes up. Partially because he bought his striking shoes today, but not only was it his striking shoes, Dallas, it was, I can't see, the striking socks. Check those bad boys out right there. Well, meanwhile, Max goes high right through the schnoz. Four, six, seven. If you can't make that, the lead's going to change here in the fifth frame. Loma Tan in the fifth, in the ninth, rather. He's working on a 230 scratch game. That's huge. Collier misses a corner pin over there. He's an unhappy lefty. Max should really get the count here. It's unlikely that you're going to make it. He does. It only trails by three through five frames. Anybody's game. Still way too close to call with five people still alive and handicap. Let's do a lot of math later see who comes out on top. All five of these guys, of course, get in our Invitational. Play for a thousand bucks in June. Non-winners trying to get into the TOC. You gotta be a C this year, only champions get in. Let's see if Max can recover off that open frame. He's got a slide. No. Not that much push in the middle as he missed left on that one. At any level, when you bowl your first career title match, it's a whole different story. We, uh, it was the uh, Masters Finals today, too, and we watched A.J. Johnson, who is an absolute beast, struggle on TV in a new environment for him. Max going through that title match struggle here. He does have a handicap win, though, so he knows how to do it. He's just going to have four frames to put it together here. We'll see if Dallas even gives him an opportunity. Oh! It's going to get harder as he chops the six-step. 
Ouch. Dallas the veteran, he's got to be jumping out of those striking shoes right now. He wants to pounce all over that goof from Paul Hill. Well, my dad is fired up over there. So is his dad. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, he pounced, just not quite in the way he was uh, expecting to. 197 for Tyler, that's 222 with pins. He gets him to the plus 253. Yes, stop having the same names. Lomitan's breaking into the 250s now. I think you're going to see him in the title match. Paul with a crucial shot off camera to the right. Gets it. Dallas to extend over 30 to strike here. He's begging for it to come back. It certainly does. Veteran Leong all over that. Max has to recover here. The best he can do now is 213. Dallas still only at a 206 pace. So there's time, but it's time to X. Oh! Well, it's just a film all over there. What an exciting strike from the line. Give him 279 with his pins. There you go. Come back, baby. Oh! No way. Well. Beautiful. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. What can you say there? Max knows it better, but. <laughs> Tyler. Got to stop doing that. Looks looks bad for yourself, looks bad for the tournaments. I know you're frustrated, but you can't be doing that. It's like, oh! It's like every time I try to get a shooter, it's just like... You won yesterday, it's not every time. I rest my case, boom. Judgment, plaintiff. Paul's got 212 over there for 229. Plus 261. Jumps ahead of Thomas for that one. Max is in trouble. He's in trouble, isn't he? <laughs> no, don't no worry right now. <laughs> that shoot up scorecard. Like it, very nice. Excellent, as a matter of fact. <laughs> He's pulling an AJ. It's just incredible how quickly he can get away from you in that title game. But. This is a giant leap forward for Max. First scratch top five in a while. First scratch top five in Mojave ever. First scratch title match ever. And he was struggling something fierce early on this season. Got a good lesson or two from Mr. Bates. And who else? And Haugen. And here he is, bowling for titles. We'll see him a lot more if he keeps doing that. Tyler's still bowling. D had 188, right? 211. The other Tyler's going to finish out with 218 something, a really nice game. 218 exactly, or 236. 214 is not going to be enough. It's going to be Elijah and Paul for the title over there in handicap. I mean, is Dallas about to win another title right here? We think it's his eight. Thank you, Dee. I know, I know. You are, but you got your girls match coming up. You've had an exceptional weekend, and now, will you sweep Randy, yes or no? No. I think <laughs> we'll find out. Thank you, Tyler. Well, split here in the eighth for Dallas. He doesn't quite put him away yet. Give Dallas the open here is 152, which would put him up by 31 with two points to go. The best Max can do is 181. Still makes whoop. No. Still makes uh, Dallas get one mark in the next two frames.
either we can either do the twenty eight or Did strike of the ninth, has to have this one in the tenth to stay alive. He's yeah. got it. Staying alive, staying alive. He's very barely, but he is still staying alive. And actually, still staying alive, baby. And it's actually more than just barely. Or he, he, he needs to get all three, not just this next shot. Because if he gets all three, that would make Dallas mark. If he gets less than this, Dallas could still night out to tie or win. It's amazing how quickly uh, you can get new life breathed into you and bowling. Talking about hold, that needed a that needed a hook through the pins. You're talking to hold. I didn't want it to break. Oh, that's what I mean. Hold the line. Serious record, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he only wants his ball to strike. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Like we said, key fill ball here. Fill it up. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, boy. That's the max ball hill we've been seeing all weekend right there. Yeah. Make Stalis show up. That's what we've seen all weekend. Huge back four to make it a possibility here. Now, in order to win the title, after just absolutely owning the day, it comes down to one frame. Dallas must mark in this. Anything less, Max wins his first title. It's out. Ooh, wow, that could have 210 so easily. That could have been a 210, a 2810. Instead, it's one of the easier spares on the lane. If he misses it, Max wins. If he makes it, he'll need to stay behind the foul line on the fill ball. He's going to take his time. Veteran move, take your time. Make no mistakes. Oh, and he's really going to take his time. He's going to stop and reset. He had to change his grip earlier in this match. Make sure you get that perfect feel. That's, that's why he's on Team USA, folks. Not as veteran, you rush up there and run the risk of an error. That's a JBT champion right there. Oh, oh, oh. He's heartbroken. Max is smiling. He's heartbroken. It's a great run for Max, but uh, it was Dallas's day from start to finish. Gets the spare to finish it off. Congratulations to him. We'll have our handicap title match between uh, Paul and Elijah and our women's series title match coming up next as well.